Jensen Impact. You may not know anything about the video game world, but you do understand the figure $2 billion. $2 billion is how much Jensen Impact the video game has grossed in revenue since release. And one of the stars of that particular video is joining us from Los Angeles now. And we welcome to The Voice Choice, Stephanie Sutherland. Hello. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Thank you How for having you? me. Certainly glad to have you. When you were recording that, did you have any inkling at all that you were on something special. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I had an idea how beautiful the game would be. It, it's visually stunning. And, and I, I had an idea how, um, how fun it would be to play. There was some beta testing out, but I had no idea the impact <laughs> Genshin Impact would have. Um, so it's been, it's been pretty humbling to say the least. How did it come about? How'd you get it? So my agent here in Los Angeles sent me uh, a couple of auditions for, uh, or sent me a packet of auditions for this game. And there, there were a couple, um, char- a couple characters that I really liked. Um, but this character that I played, Jean, um, I read the audition for her and I just really connected to the character. And I was, I just remember reading it and thinking, wow, this would be a great character to play. And then I got a call back and booked the gig. A couple weeks later, I got the call that I was officially booked on the game. Uh, So I was very, very happy. (laughs) I bet. How how has it changed things for you? Oh, you know, it's it's interesting because I've heard that really the idea of your big break is kind of a, a bit of a myth. Um, but I feel like this game really has opened so many doors. Uh, and I've, I've heard the phrase often that work begets work. And I feel like this is true it, because of the game's magnitude and how much people really like it. My voice has gotten out there more and more and, um, and more and more work has come because of it. So it's, it's definitely been a game changer for me. And, uh, I feel like I said, humbled and grateful every day that I get to be a part of a small part of this game. Well, let's take a listen to Stephanie Sutherland in Jensen Impact. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise... How can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? (sighs) The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? (sighs) I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Liontooth Knight... She courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then she founded the Knights of Favonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. You've got a lot of personality in your voice. Where <laughs> does that come from? Oh, that is a great question. <laughs> I I remember being told from a, a young age that I have a lot of quirkiness in my voice and... Um, I, I, I think I knew I had a strange sound, but then again, everyone has listens to themselves uh, uh, when they when they listen to themselves after being recorded. It's like, oh, that's what I sound like. I remember distinctly having m- moments like that. But um, yeah, I've just been told that from a very young age, and thankfully, I was interested in acting, and um, 
<laughs> and I'm able to use this voice that I have. <laughs> and that's what it is. It's acting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, voice acting is is acting. It's just another another method of of using the acting skills and methods that I've learned. Well, let's take a break and uh, go to our sponsor, The Voice Shop in New York City. And we'll come back with Stephanie right after we watch this. The Voice Shop is a proud sponsor of the Voice Choice Vodcast, where you get to see and hear the inspirational talent behind the microphone. Shift your voice into high gear with professional training and coaching at The Voice Shop. You can save $20 off any purchase with promo code CHOICE at checkout. Visit us at voiceshopcoaching.com. So you're a singer, and I that am. made a difference in voiceover. Talk about that. Yeah, so I uh, got my uh, bachelor of fine arts in uh, bachelor's of fine arts in musical theater, and I had plans to do the whole Broadway thing. Um, saw a lot of my friends graduate and head off to New York City, and um, and I I loved the stage. I, I started singing in high school and just really fell in love with it. Really learned how to use my voice uh, and uh, really wanted to make a career out of it. But I also wanted to have my nights and weekends. So um, after after being in a couple shows and realizing that I'm a homebody, I uh, decided I wanted to use my acting skills that I had developed and my singing skills uh, in a different, uh, a different, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Um, a different medium. And so I started to look at voiceover and uh, I've been able to use my, the, the, many years and many dollars of training that I uh, and my parents put uh, or used to put me through voice lessons uh, to make a career. So it's been a very good thing. <laughs> I'd like to let them hear now uh, you singing. When I first heard it, it, it really blew my mind. So let's take a listen now to Stephanie singing in voiceover in character. That was fun. Look at all the work we've done. If I could be anyone. Or do anything healing and helping would top my list. There are no limits. Push till you win it. Soon all your dreams are coming true. If you can see it, then you can be it. Do what you love and you'll love what you do. So you talked about education. We ran a commercial for The Voice Shop in New York. How important has vocal training been in your life? Oh my gosh. I feel like you always have to continue learning and growing and uh, educating yourself. And so even though I am a working actor, I'm still taking classes. I'm still continuing to... Uh, train and refine my acting skills and my voice skills, uh, learning different techniques on keeping my voice healthy. Really, there's so much learning that we need to be doing to continue improving our craft. And as times are changing and uh, different styles and um, and sounds are, are changing in the market, uh, it's important to be on top of those things. And so education is huge to continue on and on and on and you're continuing to educate at this yeah. level i take at least one class a month um whether it be with a different director or a different um a, a different casting director or voice teacher uh i i feel like it's so important to continue developing my talents and keeping them sharp that, yeah, I take at least one class a month to continue going. And most of my peers are the same way. I would say the majority of them are the same way, continuing to take classes and train. All right. Let's take a break now with our sponsor, Sure Technology. When we come back, we'll talk to Stephanie about narration. This segment of The Voice Choice is sponsored by Sure. 
And this is the voice of God. Actually, I'm not God at all. I'm Eric Holloway, a voice actor. And when I want to sound my very best, I depend on Sure Microphone. It delivers the sound I want. So, how am I doing? So we're going to listen to some of your narration. Before we do, tell us your subtext as an actor. What's going on in your mind when you deliver this narration to sound as it does? You know, when it comes down to it, acting is, at least the method that I trained in, it's it's who are you talking to? Uh, what are you trying to communicate with them? How are they responding? How are you responding to them? And so that goes with narration as well. Um, it's it's all about communicating a message and setting yourself in that scene so you can be an effective communicator. So that's what's going on in my head is how can I best uh, communicate the message that I need to be sharing through these words, through this text, by using my voice. You're looking at a healthy tooth. While it appears to be unremarkable and kind of boring, it's actually a rather dynamic little thing. A closer look reveals crystalline structures composed of calcium and phosphate, called hydroxyapatite. This family's living room was stuck in the past. Yeah, that's way too big, you guys. So Danielle will search for one fabulous piece, and when she finds it, she'll build an entire room around it. Look at them. They don't want to get up. Her shopping smarts and her signature style will turn this drab, lifeless room into the stunning, sophisticated space they've been longing for. The squishy face. The adorable snorting. The French Bulldog. Surprisingly, the French Bulldog actually comes from England. During the Industrial Revolution, English artisan workers, especially lace makers, wanted little companions around to improve the quality of their lives. With its engaged learning model, UVU students have the opportunity to develop strong connections with outstanding faculty and staff. UVU faculty are scholars and professionals in their fields. They are dedicated to sharing their expertise with students and helping them to succeed. Today we are going to review Sony Music Entertainment's pre-release security policies. This course will cover the main principles of securing Sony Music content before its release. It's important that you completely understand and strictly follow the policies we'll discuss today. Do you have certain characters that you like to narrate more than others, certain types of books? anything mm, that... that's a great question i'm i'm kind of an uh, I, I kind of love it all i feel just fortunate to to get to dip my toe into all sorts of different things and um and i i feel like oftentimes what i what i do as an actor is i kind of set myself um bring what i am who i am to the table uh into these uh these words and uh, and from my perspective, that's how I'm communicating. What's next? What are you working on right now? Oh, gosh, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> there's, like I said, work begets work, and I feel so grateful every single day that I get to do this for a living. But um, there's a few video games in the pipeline that I, uh, unfortunately, am under NDA. That's a big uh a big thing, so I can't talk about those. A couple animation projects that I'm very delighted and excited to share. Um, again, under NDA, uh, grateful to uh, grateful that Genshin Impact is ongoing too. So who knows? Maybe my character will have more stuff coming out. We'll see. That's that's to be uh, determined or uh, to be announced. Uh, there's a lot that I don't know yet, uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot going on and. Whew, it's it's very exciting and it's kind of fun and uh, a bit of a whirlwind to <laughs> to be under NDA oh, yeah. to not be able to talk about things mm-hmm. and you're like so excited to share and uh, you just have to wait until the announcement is made or your episode comes out or you get the green light from uh, your agent and the production team that it's time to uh, that you can share. Why is there so much NDA, so much uh, secrecy about a game? Help oh, us understand. Gosh, that that's a really great question. Um, I feel like the game world is pretty tight-lipped when it comes to 
what's going on. And I, and I think part of that is just the IP. Um, they're, they're wanting to keep it, um, keep it contained, uh, keep it, uh, so it's that, so there can't be any, um, what's, what's the word, uh, counterfeits or leaks or Mm -hmm. things like that to keep the, the hype up, the excitement for the game up. Uh, but yeah, the game world absolutely is, is, uh, pretty darn tight tight lipped about things and i uh, can't say i i don't blame them well i want to thank you for uh coming on the show and sharing with us about jensen impact and the effect that it's had on your life thank i you. would say that things are going pretty good for you i would say so too thank you <laughs> yes i'm uh, <laughs> like i said it. grateful every day grateful and humbled every single day and it's it's such a pleasure to be here to talk to you about it all well, I would wish you good luck, but I don't think you need it. So with that, thank you so much for joining us on The Voice Choice, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for having me. Or maybe two or three. I'll add a few new paintings to my gallery. I'll play guitar and knit and cook and basically just wonder when will my life begin. When I was a girl, I had one single dream to run my own monster motel. A place for vacationing banshees to scream where witches could stay for a spell. And now it would seem that my dream is in sight. When we open our doors, I may shriek with the light as I welcome the creatures who go bump in the night at the scabby and bee. Yeah!